Okay, so um, I just want to point out one thing. So again, I just typed this into the graphing calculator. It's the first one. And I just want you guys to see that on the table that there's that y-intercept, okay? So that constant not only affects the first term and becomes the leading coefficient, but it also multiplies to the number. Because remember when we talked about that you have to multiply two things when you multiply, that this one-tenth will affect this. So in the end, you're taking one-tenth x minus uh, two-tenths. I won't even simplify it. And then it's that two-tenths, then that multiplies to that, to that, to that, to that. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, all right, let's go to this one. Now these are in standard form, so we'll have to do some work to get them in factored form. So first of all, what can I tell just by looking at it? It's a line. There will be three solutions. And the line's going uphill because there's a one. And Finn, stop. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. That's Finn again. Um, I know the y-intercept is negative 20. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to have to factor this one now. So look for greatest common factor first. I don't see one. Okay, now I'm supposed to show you the red ghost. <laughs> there he goes. All right, um, and four terms means I'm going to group them. So I'm going to group the first two and the last two. And then I'm going to look for a greatest common factor. I'm going to be taking out an x squared. And then here I'm left with x plus 5. Uh, I'll have the matching parentheses over here. So what times x gives me the negative 4x? That's the negative 4. So my factors are x squared minus 4, which I will factor in a little bit, and then the x plus 5. So again, this I can factor more into a difference of squares. And now I'm going to see where this graph crosses the x-axis. So it's going to hit the x-axis at negative 2, 2, and negative 5. So um, let's say over here is negative 5. Here is negative 2. <laughs> okay, last time. All right, now I'm going, to, I'm going to cut them out. Sorry, guys. And then here's the 2. And since these all just appear once, first power, first power, first power, it will cross through all of them. Okay, so get your end behaviors drawn first. Um, on the left, in the end, it's going down. On the right, it's going up. For this right, for this left point. And now it's going to cross, going left, right. It's got to turn somehow to get to here, come through. Let's get to see it cross through. Have it turn somewhere to come back here, and then it's going to cross through. And it crosses through almost like a straight line at a diagonal. And again, you can put this in your calculator. You can exaggerate those end behaviors a little bit more, and there's that graph. All right, last one. So first thing I'm going to look for is what, my what it tells me in standard form. Eighth power, bumpy U. It's a regular bumpy U because of the three, positive three. Um, I'm going to be expecting eight solutions here. What's my y-intercept? I need a constant at the end. So my y-intercept is at 0, 0. Okay. And now I'm going to factor it. So what can I factor out? I, have a, I do have a greatest common factor of 3x squared. And that's going to leave me with x to the 6th plus 5x to the 3rd plus 6. Um, so this is one factor. What can I do here? Well, this is three terms. Um, I'm going to make my x. So what are factors of 6x to the 6th that give me 5x cubed? Well, that's 2 and 3. Um, and they have to have cubed powers because when I add them up, I get 5x cubed. Now I'm going to rewrite it. Again, um, I have x to the 6th, there's my 5x cubed, there's my 6 box people, this is the top row, this is the bottom row. So now I'm going to go for a greatest common factor, I'm going to take out an x cubed out of both of these, and I'm left with x plus, or I'm sorry, x cubed plus 2, and then that means I need an x cubed plus 2 over here, and what can I take out of those? That is a 3. Right? And then when I'm done factoring, I'm going to have x cubed plus 3 and x cubed plus 2. 
Now, you should check kidney factor these further. These have cubes, but these don't have cube roots. Um, so we're not going to factor these any further. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, here's our complete set of factors. And we do still need to look at what's going to make them zero. So what's going to make this zero? Well, let's talk about this one. When you set this one equal to zero and you divide by three, you get zero. And when you square root, you technically get two answers, a positive and a negative. And I want you to write that down twice. Even though zero isn't positive or negative, it's showing up twice. This is an even amount, so it will be bouncing off of zero. Um, as far as the x cubed plus three goes, there are three solutions in there. If you remember when we did do the difference of cubes, the short set of parentheses we talked about gave you solution from the a plus b, and then from the longer solution, it gave us an imaginary, two imaginary numbers. That's what's gonna happen here. I'll get one from this and two from this. Um, but what I'll do mathematically to solve those is just take it, set it equal to zero, I'm gonna subtract three, and then I'm gonna take the cubed root of negative three. So remember, that's your math button. Mm, sorry. So I'm gonna do the cubed root of negative three, and I'm gonna get about negative 1.4. So over here, negative 1.4. And with that does come two imaginary numbers. We just aren't seeing them because we didn't factor it out. And then the x cubed plus 2. I'm going to set it equal to 0, subtract 2, take the cubed root of negative 2. And that's about negative 1.3. And again, with that one, I would be getting two imaginary answers. So I want you to see the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But only four of them make the graph. So here's about negative 1.3. And over here is about negative 1.4. And since these show up once, it's going to cross through. And again, zero showed up an even amount of time, so it's going to bounce. I'm going to get my end behaviors drawn, so here's the right, 